Welcome back to DivaDirt.com's Women of Wrestling podcast. I'm your regular host, Stu Allen. I am not joined by my regular colleague, Lee Burton, at least not yet. Lee is on special assignment, shall we say, this month, because he has managed to score a short chat with Kelly Kelly of the uh, WWE Divas division on Raw. Uh, She was uh, on the losing end of a match, actually, this week on Raw against Alicia Fox and part of the Divas title tournament. She's going to plug the uh, Royal Rumble, which is upcoming at the end of this month, and also the WrestleMania Revenge Tour, which is in April around the country. You can check Ticketmaster and all the other regular ticket locations to try and find out prices, availability, and so on of those shows. Live WWE shows are really something to be recommended. Lots of fun to be had by all the family. And uh, before we get on to that Kelly interview, I'm going to take a few moments just to say, first of all, it's been a while since our last show. been a, a few reasons for that. Things like work commitments, Christmas and the New Year, the fact that Lee's recently moved house and isn't currently online at home. And uh, not only that, but we, we both had an international trip last November. We were both headed off to... Chicago once again to see the latest tapings of uh, Shimmer Women Athletes. Recommend anybody that's listening to this podcast right now, because you know you obviously have an interest in women's wrestling if you're listening to this. I implore you to go and check out some Shimmer. And although they're not out yet, certainly check out the tapings from last November. It's going to be volumes 27 and 28. When they come out, check them out, both of them especially. Uh, one of our former guests, actually, Portia Perez, was unable to make the tapings uh, due to being struck down at the time by swine flu. She's actually fine now, but uh, we concerned for a while about Portia's, Portia's health. In her absence, however, her regular tag team partner, Nicole Matthews, absolutely blossomed on these tapings. And you know She had a real coming-of-age match against Daisy Hayes a couple of shows ago, but on these shows... She really, she wrestled three times and impressed me three times in different matches each time. Her match, especially with cheerleader Melissa, and this would be on volume 27, phenomenal. Absolutely great match. And Nicole, to me, immediately looked like this is the woman who is the future of Shimmer. And, you know, it remains to be seen as we move into 2010, where she goes and, you know, with, with the return of Portia, um, you know, what the Canadian ninjas do on the next tapings. Next next set of tapings, by the way, have not been announced, but uh, when they are announced, please try and make your, make your plans to join us for another set of Shimmer tapings. It's more than worth your while. Also on those tapings, again, we'll talk about this as the DVDs actually get released, but um, Volume 28 featured a match, which um, I'd say without a doubt is um, Match of the Year, uh, women's wrestling, which was a uh, a match between Sarah Del Rey and Ayako Hamada, and it was it was one of those matches which it it featured you know state of the art wrestling brawling went through the crowd there was use of chairs ultra violent two point nine 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 counts just one of those matches which really draws you in. I mean, I was I was at WrestleMania this year, and I got to see Shawn Michaels versus Undertaker live, and you know, to me, without a doubt, that was match of the year. But this match, on a smaller scale, admittedly, brought out those same emotions. It really dragged me into the match and made me care, it made my jaw hit the ground with how good these women were. It was in many ways quite reminiscent, especially with the violence of the uh, cheerleader Melissa Wesna series that uh, that really came to international prominence in the UK chick fight shows. And before we get on to the the Kelly interview, I just want to take a a couple of seconds out to say, for anybody in the UK, please keep an eye out for something coming up called Pro Wrestling Eve. Now, at the minute, there's not a lot to be known about it, except for the fact that it's going to be a new all-women's wrestling promotion. And it's being run by the man who was responsible for the UK chick fight shows, that's Dan Reid. You know, not a lot to really talk about at this point, but keep an eye peeled uh, on eWrestling.com, which is a bit of a holding site for when the the promotion actually launches properly. Also, if you're on Twitter, check out 
twitter.com slash pro wrestling eve where you can find out hopefully some of the you know first information once there's information to be known and just know that at the minute it's going to be launched in the first quarter of 2010 dan has promised that apart from the fact that obviously the main british girls that are going to be on the show there are going to also be some international talents as well so something to look forward to for people in the uk who've been feeling a little bit hard done by since uh, chick fight stopped promoting shows over here so that's Pro Wrestling Eve, check that out, coming first quarter of 2010. So without further ado, we're going to leave you now in the capable hands of my colleague Lee, who has the wonderfully talented and gorgeous Kelly Kelly. Alright, Kelly, well, you know, first off, thanks a lot for speaking to us about this. You're over here um, promoting the Royal Rumble, is that right? Yes, I'm promoting uh, Royal Rumble and our big WrestleMania tour over here in uh, April. And, uh, yeah, the Royal Rumble was one of the sort of uh, the, the big events because, you yeah. know, road, road to WrestleMania and everything like that. So, mm-hmm. uh, yeah, it's, it really is quite an important show, especially since it's the start of the year. It is. And it's, you know, that's what sets up for WrestleMania. So it's really it's going to be really big. And it's actually on Skybox office at 1 a.m. on January 31st. Well, I wanted to ask a little bit about yourself, seeing as uh, I've got you here. So it's uh, quite quite a quite a privilege to be able to be speaking to you like oh, this. Thank you. You've you've been in WWE pretty much your, your whole adult life, really, haven't you? Yeah, basically right out of high school, eighteen years old. You, how you were eighteen when you started? Yes. It wasn't long before before after being signed to uh, you actually making it onto TV. Was yeah, that right? Yeah, I just I got signed um, probably in March, and I think I was on TV in like May. So yeah, two months and put me right up on there so you went on to ecw as well and uh, yes you, you had that you had the sort of bit where you're doing the exhibitionist gimmick and everything mm-hmm. like that so, <laughs> as far as you know when when you were told at the beginning what um what, what was you what were you told about uh, what you're going to be doing there was it going to be maybe sort of valeting or was it always you know, the the end goal to become a wrestler well that was yeah that was always my end goal that was you know that's what i trained for on my off days even you know i trained for two years before that i was even able to move home and um, and be with my family again. So I, I was training because that was my ultimate goal and being the exhibitionist and doing the other storylines, that was my, that was my way of getting in and starting into WWE and hopefully one day becoming what I am today. So, well, two years of training is a long time. Did you ever think about, you know, backing out thinking, you know, maybe this just isn't for me? No, I, I love my job. I, I thank God every day for giving me the opportunity to have, to have this job. It's seriously a dream of a lifetime. So it's, it's amazing. What did you know about, uh, about, you know, wrestling WWE beforehand, uh, before being signed? Well, you know, I used to watch it with my dad when I was younger and my favorite was Stone Cold. I loved him and wanted to marry him. And I was like 10 years old and it was, the, it was, you know, he was my favorite. And, and I used to watch the girls when I was younger and I was like, oh my God, that's so awesome. They're hot and they're kicking butt I want to do this you know and so um, when I got signed you know I had I started um, like reviewing all the old stuff and trying to get familiar with you know because it changed a lot from when I used to watch it until now so try to get familiar and do my studying and stuff who was it that you, know, that you sort of looked up to then when you were watching it uh, when you were younger? Because hmm. I think it was Sable who was there when I was younger in China and I watched her and uh, I think Sunny was around. So, yeah, a bunch of, yeah. So it's, it's not like, you know, that you, you came into it completely cold or anything like that. It does sound like you had a, you had a sort of an idea about what was going to be happening. No, and, uh... I totally did. I, I, you know, I was very aware. Um, and I love, like, the WWF, WCW wars. And I that's that's the time that I remember. And so it was really cool, you know, watching that younger and now. Well, now you're part, of, here. you're part of the Divas roster on Raw at the moment, and uh, you had yeah. you, you're wrestling on Monday uh, mm-hmm. in the, this this Divas tournament, which is taking place. Which actually, you know, oh, from no. a personal standpoint, I think it's uh, quite a good thing for you guys because you know there, there was a lot of sort of the, the sort of six six women matches where you know they weren't on very long and there wasn't real really that much of a sort yeah. of background to it. But this time, exactly. you've actually got impetus and things like that. You've got reasons to be to be wrestling. Yeah, but I already lost. This is, so. I wasn't going to bring that up. You know? <laughs> I'm very upset about it, if you can't tell. Well, you, you were wrestling Alicia Fox, but well, weren't you signed uh, roughly around the same time? Yeah, actually, we uh, we both got signed. We actually were with the same modeling company. We lived in Jacksonville, Florida. We knew each other before we signed, so it was really, really cool. 
So has she been the sort of person who you've been sort of um, you know, with all the way, uh, do, you know, during the uh, during the whole learning process and making it onto TV and uh, making a name for yourself along those yeah, lines? Yeah, see, I um, we lived together right when we both got signed. So I started two year, three years before she did. So she really worked her way up to where she is today because she wasn't. She was training for three years before she even got put on TV, and I I had been on, you know, for three years. So I think it was hard for her at first, you know, to to deal with that and stuff but she's really earned her way to where she is and she's an amazing amazing wrestler so in the past uh, there would have been uh, you know d- different different um things that said about the you know the divas locker room and the fact that you know it might have been uh, might have been a bit bitchy or you know that uh, you know that people were willing to step on people to get to the top what's it like these days you know all the girls we we all get along we're like a big family and we travel together you know except for maurice we don't really like maurice She's evil. <laughs> <laughs> I was going to say, does she have her own locker room then? Uh, she tries to. She, we just let her have the bathroom. We say, take the bathroom. Oh, that makes take sense. Take the shower. So who are your main friends then in in, uh, in, in WWE? Um, have you I, got uh, people who you're sort of quite tight with? I do. Um, I'm really, really close with the Bella Twins. We travel every week together. We're so close. We're we're best friends. We share beds together. It's It's pretty great. We have pillow fights. It's... There's a million images going around to quite a few people's heads right now. I just wanted you to be, to be aware of that, that's all. Yeah, well, that's why, you know, just letting, just letting you know. As, as, you do, I mean, you do a lot of travelling as far as, as, far as um, the wrestling's concerned. Um, mm-hmm. You know, you, um, I suppose, you know, we, we, we see you in, you know, in, in small segments on, on Raw and maybe on pay-per-views and things like that. But mm-hmm. uh, as far as, like, you know, doing the house show circuits, do you get a lot more time to be able to, uh, to wrestle then? Oh, yeah. We do, we, we do shows Friday, Saturday and Sunday, the live events. And we, we usually have matches at least like 15 minutes long. So we use, those are our time, that's our time to shine and that's our time to get out there and really show the live audience you know that we really can wrestle for a while and you know get the crowd behind us and have it and just have fun with it so so what are your feelings then about you know doing the tv i guess it must be quite good in the fact that you know you, you're on you, there's the tv and you know you're getting your name out there and you know you're creating a profile for yourself mm-hmm. but then i guess it must also be quite uh, quite frustrating that you don't get to do those long matches well you know it, it depends yeah I love that we get the opportunity every week to go out there and wrestle for however much time they give us. You know, we take it to the fullest and we do everything we can in that amount of time. And, you know, we we, did, we make the best of it. So, you know. As far as the traveling is concerned, just getting back to that, that a second, I mean, you do a lot of traveling all over yeah. all over the States and then you're doing, do, doing different uh, bits all over the world. You know, we're talking about the WrestleMania Revenge Tour as well when you're going to be coming over here in April time. But then you also have those special trips as well. I understand like, the trips to Iraq and Afghanistan with, with, yeah. with you know, the things that you guys really look forward to. Yeah, that ha- you know, that's actually one of the reasons why I love WWE so much is to go visit the... I've been so blessed to go visit them for four, oh, three years in a row now and... It's just so amazing going over there and just seeing these guys and they're so happy to see us and we're so happy to go over there and just thank them for everything they've done for us and just meeting all of them and shaking their hands and just, you know, giving them a big hug and letting them know we're behind them and it's great. It must be quite weird the fact that, you know, you're looking up to them for what they're doing and they're also looking up to you for what you do. I know. And it's crazy, too, because, like, when I first went over there, these guys were my age and I was like, I can't even imagine. These girls and guys were my... And I was like, I can't imagine doing that. I just... I really had... You know, I give my my full heart out to them because they're amazing at what they do. So what are your high points and low points um, so far in your career then? What what would you rate as, you know, some of the the, the sort of top and bottom things that, uh, that, that have gone on? Um, you know, just working my way up to the top, you know, has been, you know, where I am today, I'm so happy, but it's been a long, it's been a hard road to get here, you know. Um, I did the expose and then we did the whole dance thing for about a year with Extreme Expose with Brooke and Layla and then, you know, finally getting the chance to come to Raw and wrestle has been, has been my dream come true. So, you know, just getting, just working my way up here. I haven't really had any low points except for losing. That's not fun. Um, <laughs> well, you, 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 well, you mentioned about, you know, about, you know, rising your way up and things like that. So, I mean, you know, Melina's injured, which is the whole reason why yeah. this Divas tournament has come yeah. around. And, you know, I think she's, she's one of the ones who, uh, who, you know, has been, been there quite a while as well and mm-hmm. made a serious name for herself. And is one of those big names yeah. with her out, you know, for, for a few months. Is this, do you see this as maybe as an opportunity for you be able to, uh, you know, grab a bit more attention to, so people can see what you really can do. Yeah, and see, it's, I love Melina. Is one of my best friends too. And like to, when she got hurt, I like I my heart went out to her because you know it sucks like losing the belt and having you know what I mean being out and you know it's not fun. And 
you know, I don't think about, well, you know, I can, it's my spot, it's my time now. Yeah, I don't think about that. I think about, you know, if the opportunity comes along and if I can prove myself to the fans that I could live up to what she is, then then I'm all for it. But, you know, I'm just trying to work my way up there. Yeah, is, that, is that one of the ambitions then, to, you know, to, to have, to have you know, a, a title and to have that kind of responsibility bestowed on you? Yeah, I, that's, that's, that's what I want. That's all I'm working for. So hopefully. We'll Got any sort it. of uh, any time frame that you've set for yourself for that? Are you, uh, yes, the, are you hoping to have it happen within a certain time? Well, it's been about four years. I'm really. <laughs> really so now you're getting impatient. Then. Is that what it is? I am. I want that belt. Is that what 2010 is going to be all about for you then? I think so. I really want it to be, you know what I mean? And I'm going to do everything I can to to make it happen. So we'll see. As far as, you know, maybe sort of you know, looking back at yourself and, uh, and you know, the, how far you've come and, uh, mm-hmm. you know, just maybe watching watching yourself back to try and work out, you know, what you did well and what you can improve mm-hmm. on. How would you rate yourself at the moment? Um, you know, I've, I've come a long way. Like I, I remember watching matches that I had back in ECW with Layla and I'm like, oh my gosh, <laughs> how far I have come. We yeah, both have actually. Everybody's got to have those matches, haven't they? Yeah, exactly. And I, you know, I would say I rate myself like a seven, eight, like I, I you know, working my way up there. Hopefully that's what other people think too. <laughs> that's the thing. You get a lot of feedback from people then. I do, and it's usually it's usually good. You know what I mean? I because I really I put my heart and soul into these match into my matches, and I really take my time, and I I want to make everything perfect and great, and I just want them to go so good. So, you know, I try really really hard, and I just hope people, you know, start seeing that. Actually, who do you go to for feedback then? Who do you sort of like, like seek out and say, you know, how, how did I do? Well, you know, Tommy Dreamer was uh, basically my dad on the road he basically took me under his wing when I first started with ECW and um, he you know took care of me showed me the ways and every time I would have a match he would always text me after and tell me what he thought and what he didn't like and you know everything like that and I was always call him before my matches and say hey what do you think of this and da 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 so he was he was probably my number one just so. finally as well, because we're just running a little bit short on time. Let's say you you know you hadn't been signed by WWE back in 2006. What would mm-hmm. you be doing now? Well, I wouldn't. I mean, I'm I'd probably be doing broadcast journalism, but WWE is where my heart to is. Have. I've got a fine qualification. <laughs> I've got that broadcast journalism degree as well. Yes, there you go. Actually, we were speaking to we were speaking to Jackie Gator a little while ago, and she said that she was doing journalism. So oh, it seems really? to be something that's uh, that's quite common between uh, between a lot of you girls. Oh, I didn't know that. Yeah, Aww, it, yeah, I think cool. I spoke to her a little while ago, and uh, yeah, it's just quite coincidental. Yeah, that you it's funny, that I didn't well. even know that. So what would it be? Cool. TV news, radio news? Um, I'd probably TV. I'd like to do like entertainment, like e news or something like that. In fairness, you are quite photogenic, so I think that probably works out uh, for you. There's thank a reason you. why I'm on radio. Oh no, you're, don't say that. You, you're flattering, Kelly, but seriously, you know I am. It's probably better that people don't see what I look oh, like. Oh, don't say that. Come on. Oh, you're, you're you a, know you're a hottie. I try my best. You know, I, went, I was on Hot <laughs> or Not one time, and I think I got about six out of ten. So I thought that'll do. <laughs> That's good. I, I don't know. You know, <laughs> <laughs> that is good. People are probably marking me down, but just. Just to, just to no. wrap this round and go full circle, Royal Rumble is on what date? It is January 31st um, on Skybox Office at 1 a.m. And then the WrestleMania Revenge Tour is coming up in April, is that right? Yes, it's uh, April, f- uh, April 8th through the 17th. And tickets are on sale now, are they? Yep, on sale now. You can go to WWE.com for tickets. And that was all we had time for with Kelly Kelly earlier on today. I'd like to take again the opportunity to say thank you very much for her to give up a little bit of her time today to talk to DivaDirt.com and the Women of Wrestling podcast about the upcoming Royal Rumble available on pay-per-view around the world and also the WrestleMania Revenge Tour here in the UK. I'm going to wrap up now by saying we do hope to be back hopefully either the end of this month or the start of next month and hopefully start to churn out these shows a little bit more regularly. Uh, We have various ideas on guests that we have. I've uh, contacted some people. We're trying to get some things set up for, as I say, late January, early February, as soon as we can after that. Uh, But if you have any particular suggestions, any particular feedback, any particular guest ideas or anything like that, you can always contact us on our email address, which is uh, wowhosts at gmail.com. That's wowhosts all one word, at gmail.com. Both myself and Lee have access to that address. 
we'll check that out hopefully fairly regularly and if we can oblige with requests we will do so so i hope you enjoy this little uh, stop gap and we will be back with the next full-length show very very soon thank you for listening see you next time